you showed me that Dennis Prager video. Which one uh, was that? It, it was an argument about Israel where he was talking about why Israel deserves to exist and stuff. After being there, man, holy shit. I feel like people have no idea. What the, I didn't even know what the hell was going on until I went to Palestine and saw how crazy it was. But What man. is it like? Tell me, give me your thoughts and your So experience. everyone mistakenly thinks that Hamas like controls Palestine. That's not true at all. There's there's three different areas that were drawn up with the original partition. It's the West Bank, which is totally under military rule by Israel. And then there's the Gaza Strip, which is like the open air prison, which they bomb the shit out of like every couple of years and Hamas controls that area. And then there's Jerusalem, which is an international city center. Um, that both Arabs and Jews live in. But the West Bank has been occupied militarily since 1967, and it's complete martial law. There's checkpoints. All political parties are illegal. You can't... Having a gun is like the least of it. You can't hold a flag. You can't belong to a political party. You literally can't do shit if you're a Palestinian. You just have to sit there and submit. Um, and if even if you share a photo of someone who was like killed by an Israeli soldier, you go to jail. And you go to jail for the amount of like months that... What? Yeah, based on the shares and likes of the photo, they'll they'll penalize you more and put you in prison for longer and longer. I mean, I'll, I'll just Wait, tell you, you one so story. If you put a photo on social media, like you of put someone on who Facebook. died, and they'll be like, "You're sharing a martyr and inciting people to like commit suicide, like on behalf of Palestinians." You go to jail, and and they put them in jail. There's ninety nine point seven percent conviction rate. Kids are tortured. Kids are in prison. It is absolutely insane. We went to the first day that we were there. We went to a funeral of some guy, some farmer who was shot by Israeli forces, and we went to the funeral. It was horrible. You know, all the women are wailing and crying. And as we're leaving, the Israeli forces had set up a checkpoint right outside of this dude's house and started tear gassing and shooting rubber bullets like at people who were simply attending the funeral just to punish people for attending the funeral. Um, we went to another girl's house named Aya who's, uh, who got shot in the vagina for peacefully protesting at some protest and they shot, shot two they shot they shot 200 people that day one guy next to her died another guy was paralyzed they have a policy called shoot to cripple where they shoot guys in the dicks yeah I mean, it's fucking nuts man the west bank is no joke i thought that i was going to die several times we were at this checkpoint going through calandia and there was this old man walking like clearly drunk or something and kind of like walking a little bit toward the checkpoint they started shooting at him bullets are ricocheting off the thing and I, you know, my partner, Mike, who was an invading soldier of Iraq, was just like, we're going to die. Like, they're shooting this guy. There's bullets ricocheting. I, it was absolutely insane. And as we go through the checkpoint, the soldier's like, hey, stay safe out there. And I was like, yeah, when you guys are arbitrarily shooting people. And, and the person who was driving us had just told us that a couple months prior to that, some woman, Palestinian woman, because you can't go to Jerusalem, like if you're Palestinian, there's like barely any Palestinians who are even allowed to go pray at the most holy site, the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. You can't go to the beach. You're just completely constricted in a prison and you can't travel. And and he was just telling us that months before we went through this checkpoint, someone was going through the checkpoint because they got a permit to go into Jerusalem, which is like a lifetime golden ticket, like Willy Wonka. And they're walking and they get and she just got executed. And then what? Yeah, she just got executed and she was bleeding out at this checkpoint and her little brother tried to help her and they shot him, too. And they're like hiding the video of this. And this is just a day because they fucking hate Palestinians and Palestinians are, are animals to these people. It's sick, man. It's sick. It's really, really sick, Joe. And I, I couldn't even get into Gaza. We were banned from going into this territory because I was told by the Israeli government that I was a propagandist and that I was like an enemy agent. And so I wasn't allowed to go into Gaza. So Gaza's hell, but the West Bank is in, under martial law and everything's illegal and you can't do a goddamn thing. And, and it's super cool. Like we went to this place called Ramallah that was just like um, Oakland where they're smoking weed. There's like openly gay people there. Like it's just completely different than what people think of Palestine, you know? People think of it as just a bunch of people with turbans on blowing themselves And up. Hamas is like, you yeah. know, you elected Hamas. And like, well, Hamas doesn't want Israel to exist. It's like, well, actually, Hamas is controlling this one area for a reason because it was built as this surplus when Israel was created. Millions of refugees were put miles away from the homes that they were ethnically cleansed from and put into refugee camps in Gaza. And when the Israeli military wanted more and more land, by the way, all settlements in Israel are illegal. All of them are illegal in the West Bank, but they just keep creating more and more and more. And we would go to these villages of just Arab people living in these villages, and the settlers will come. You have to be a fanatical fucking asshole to move from California to an Arab village in Palestine and set up a goddamn tractor trailer and just live on top of their home. And they can have 
you know, giant machine guns. They can firebomb you. They can shoot you. They can beat you up. They're protected by the state. You can go with a tractor trailer, set up a home. The state immediately runs a water line, a power line, and, and a military outpost to protect you. And the Arabs are just sitting there waiting to get killed or attacked. It's absolutely insane. And the, the way home demolitions work are insane, too, because, like, they either deliver a piece of paper with a rock over it, and they're like, here, if you find it, good for you. And if you don't, then you're screwed. And that's if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, you'll just your home will be invaded by settlers. And you'll be forced out of your home. There's videos of this all over the Internet of, like, groups of settlers going and literally taking over Arabs' homes. And then they just are forced out. It's crazy, man. It's it's completely way crazier than I ever could have imagined. How long were you over there for? A month. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And we were, you know, we were simply, and people want to quabble about like, oh, it's not apartheid. There are different fucking license plates for Arabs and Jews. Like, you cannot go to areas. Like, Israeli soldiers were ar arbitrarily set up checkpoints and just shut you out of your neighborhood and force you to walk three miles to your home. Like, they can do whatever they want because you are under martial law.